Psalm 69 and verse 35. See, scripture after scripture. Look at Psalm 69 verse 35. For God will save Zion. Everybody say Zion. Zion. And build the cities of Judah that they may dwell there and possess it. Also the descendants of his servants shall inherit it. And those who love his name shall dwell in it. Now, in the Old Testament, Zion is a prophetic symbol of God's presence, of God's anointing. It is where David brought the Ark of Covenant back to Jerusalem. He put it one place, Mount Zion. It's the place of God's manifested glory. Now, our kids are called to inherit Zion. What does that mean? All of us at the end, we all go to Israel and we all walk around the mountain and say, this is ours. No, no, no. That means our kids, our children, our grandchildren, they are to inherit a life of excitement, a life of anointing, a life of blessing, a life of favor, a life of destiny. They are not called to a dry, dead religion. They are called to an exciting life. Friends, what we are doing here is bigger than us. We are building something so great. They are called to God's manifested presence. Right, Isaiah 59. Look at verse 20. Verse 20, verse 21. The Redeemer will come to Zion, and to those who turn from transgression in Jacob, says the Lord. As for me, says the Lord, this is my covenant with them. My spirit who is upon you, and my words which I put in your mouth shall not depart from your mouth, nor from the mouth of your descendants, nor from the mouth of your descendants' descendants, says the Lord from this time and forevermore. That means our children and their children's children, generations to come, they will testify of God's blessing with their mouth all day long. They're going to say, God is good to us. God is good not only to our granddad, Kong He. God is not only good to our grandma, San Ho. God is good to us and He's good forevermore. God is good all the time and all the time, God is good. The goodness of God will continually be upon them. Oh, hallelujah. So tonight, I have shown you scripture after scripture, scripture after scripture. How, when you pursue God, the way we pursue Him, the way we live our life will impact our children for good or for evil, for good or for bad. Now, these Bible promises of blessings are for those who are willing to put God first. Seek first the kingdom of God and all His righteousness. How many of you, you really love the Lord and you want to seek His kingdom first? Just wave both your hands. <laughs> Hallelujah, right? It's for those who seek God first. And listen, this is the key because it started from David. You got to have a heart for his house. That means people who are totally committed and loyal to the house of God. God will say, I got something special for you. I am not just going to bless you. I'll be blessing your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, beyond your wildest and highest imagination. When you build me a house, I will build your house, your household, and give you a heritage and a legacy.